how fast can you build somebody up? Um, you know, this isn't any hard and fast rule, but in general, whatever they did this week, you can build them up by multiplying by 1.17. So, you know, if they swam 3,000 for their long bike ride, long swim this week, next week safely 3,500. Same with a bike ride. If they ran, rode three hours this week, roughly they can ride three and a half next week. And you can see the same with a run. Most people, you can build them up for two weeks and you gotta, kinda gotta drop them down and let them recover. So maybe they, you build them up three hours, three and a half, four hours, then you drop them back down so they can kind of recover. Now the body gets very good at responding to becoming efficient at a, a stress if you give it the same stress over and over and over. So it's very important to vary the training. If you give somebody a five hour bike ride every week for three months, they'll be in way worse shape than if you had them over that same three month period doing five hours, four hours, six hours, four hours, five, five and a half, four and a half, you know, varying it. So that in the end, the average is the same, but the person who had the variation in, in their training, they will be much more fit. It's just the way we're put together. It has to do with survival. Okay, uh, weekly tempo workout. These are the workouts. This is like a second workout that's very important. You want to, uh, this is sort of going to be about half the, initially about half the length of whatever their long workout is. And this will turn into their speed work later. But this is, uh, you know, roughly 3,000 is plenty for swimming an hour or two on the bike, hour, hour 20 running. Uh, but again, this is a workout that you have them going right at their aerobic max for most of the workout. And then later that will transition a little bit higher up into their speed work. 